Gormach, but I too am happy to be able to speak this evening and broadly in support of this uh, amendment and indeed at the business committee and indeed with subsequent uh, communications since we ha had agreed to, you know, to progress this matter as a matter of urgency because it is. Justice delayed is justice denied. That's an old, uh, you know, saying. And you, being practitioner yourself, Minister of State and Tana Stott, would understand that and the delays. So, as I said, look, there's lots of many, many reasons for the delays and the backlog and the delays now and uh, that, that are there for all the courts, but certainly for the circuit court sittings and all are just enormous. And it's taken seven, eight, could be ten years for certain courses of of a predicted longevity are taking place, so that's not good. I have no um, hang-up, really. If a guard uh, uh, member is unable, once, uh, I wouldn't be hung up on the fact that it has to be decided either that, um, that uh, the Sinn Féin amendment, but I would uh, say that it has to be guarded with some relevant experience, obviously, uh, of, of the court system, and you only know that by learning, and I suppose, Tosach Ma Lan Hibra, and being in, 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 in the court service and whatever. But the any time I've been in the courts and see, the home team with several members in Gaddish Khan waiting and waiting and waiting and maybe not being called at all and whatever delays and adjournments or whatever. It's a complete and utter waste of gathered time. Now we ask for proper and fair and, and speedy uh, justice and uh, above all uh, Deputy uh, Deputy Durkin said it, you know, you might not always get to the justice that you expect from the justice system. You might get a lot of law but uh, and no just and not justice in your in your eyes. And it can be also frightfully expensive, and it is frightfully expensive, frightfully, frightfully expensive for those who have to pay. And I, I, I speak to the legal aid, with your permission in a minute, uh, Count Corner, but um, uh, free legal aid, sorry. And um, I honestly believe, look, having 10 or 12 grand a year, 10 citizens and uh, being there, and well, there's so many other duties in the community waiting to, to, to deal with them. When numbers in my division, and especially in the Care Cattle District, and, uh, are never as low, never as scarce, and I want to salute, actually, because they're brilliant. The community guard there, we had Sergeant Ray Maloney, who's moved on from his community sergeant, was of, of, of just top class, and his team under of, of Jenny Goff and the Julie Davern. And last Friday, we got an amalgamation of a new school, probably 35 years in the making or longer. And it was wonderful to see um, Gerda Kevin McGuinness at the traffic court, and as I said, Gerda Judy Davern and Jenny Goff. There, leading uh, with a piper, led um, led the schools. The two schools came together, and uh, was known as the old kind of a jet, was the daycare centre now, and walked uh, probably almost you know almost a half mile to the new school. The excitement was, but it was lovely to, that the guys were able to do that, to give them the safety of the guard escort, and indeed with the piper leading them into the new school, uh, Bun School Carpenter in Eastkick. And it was great, uh, uh, momentous day, almost 400, 380, I think. And for the sixth class, I suppose they won't have long. They're running a couple of weeks, a week and a half, because they won't move around. But nonetheless, it's a project under the stewardship of, of Mr. Horn, the principal there. But it's great to have the Gardaí available to do that. And I know some Gardaí, and I say, in that case, come off, come off, come on to work when they're not on duty. Don the uniform and do that kind of work. And that's what they do in many uh, areas because they're, they're uh, with the people, for the people, and stand with the people. And no police force in the world can police without the support of the people. But it's a two way street. So when you get down and dirty with the people and when you visit them and uh, get involved in community events with them and community focused events, you know, and community alert to neighbourhood watch and you name it, the, pr the property racking that we're taking, that's st starting to take place now in, uh, in, in my own village, just starting it out shortly uh, with the assistance of uh, former members of Mountain and Tear and whatever and our own uh, FOSS team. It's very, 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 very good. So as I said, that was that uh, aspect of it. But I am um, the free, free legal aid, that has to be reformed. And why does it take, uh, Minister, so long to reform any of the legislations? I, I'm all for free legal aid for people that are not able to afford them. Their, 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 their defence, because they're entitled to defence in any uh, demo democratic society. But I'm, I'm for three strikes and you're out. That I'm not for a revolving door system that you're back for free legal aid umpteen times, sometimes up to 15, 60 times. They are milking the system. And, and uh, the, the, the practitioners, the legal people, will have to take, take their, um, uh, yeah, they have to take a bit of the blame as well. It's a system that's revolved and revolved and revolved. And what about the victims? 
the victims are lost here, and we're very slow, in, and we have a victim as a chapter, and everything else, and I, I, I know everyone's say trying to help a family to find out, uh, you know, of a very, very serious heinous was a murder, actually, a conviction, and when the person will be getting out, it's a locality, and it, there's, a very, there's no follow through from the justice system uh, with the families of the, of the, the loved ones who have been swept from them swept from them and, and the life taken away. So we need huge reforms. This is only one amendment to deal, as I said, as a result of a High Court case taken where uh, the, the High Court ruled that uh, the judge, that the, the, the prosecutor and Garda um, had to be the Garda that issued this, that obviously investigated the offence and issued the summons, had to be there. That's going to have more and more and more and more Garda. As I said, waste of time is shocking. I'm not saying that should be diminished in any way, but we have competent Garda to do it, and it's normally, um, it's normally you know, um, um, the experienced Garda to do it, they would put having that number of Gardies head up. Um, you know, I, 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 just two of us, go count. Don't let, no, there's Richard, I definitely don't know how myself. Um, uh, that's Count Cola. And I have to mention Minister, Clown Mill Gardner Station. It's going on, I mentioned the school 35, 40 years. This is going on with uh, 50, 60 years. We have planning for a brand new station. We have a wonderful design. We have a site now. And we're wearing different packages and bundles with different stations all over the country. Try to name one and I think Donna Kilty and others. And we've been changed and changed and changed. But the last change was a gigantic change. And uh, people are left bewildered in Clonmel uh, under the personage of, 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 of Superintendent Willie Lahey and indeed the Chief, very smart and told us because we had our design, we accepted we were in a bundle with two or three, and there would be contractors there that would be doing gather station designs. But now we've been lumped into a tripartite with the law, Children's Law Court. And in my honest opinion, in my experience, and Deputy General, who would be a lot more experienced than I would build, you'd have certain specialised builders that build court buildings because they're normally a very fine uh, finish and a very aesthetic kind of building. Well, the gas stations, I'm not saying they should be any less, but they're, they're, they're a different, different animal, pardon the phrase, they're different. So we feel this is going to delay on Julie again. Delay, delay, prevaricate, delay, delay. Because, and I'm asking you, Minister, and I, as I asked Minister for Justice when she came and visited and saw the state of it two weeks ago, several Ministers of Justice have seen it down, she has seen it as well. It's the Kinsian, it's shameful, and we cannot wait any longer to expect our Gardaí to give a service to the public. And for the public, accessing it as well, it's just not fit for purpose. It's a building leased by the County Council. They want it back for many, many uh, reasons. As I said, they have a lovely site in the old King and Barracks. They have planning, have design, have everything ready to go. We shouldn't be bundled with any part of the core service because we've accepted different bundle packages and bundles with other colleagues at the stations around the country. And I know when, in, when the tendering people would, would be tendering for those kind of projects, a different skill set is needed and different architects and everything else to do the courts. And I don't believe that's even at design stage. I could be wrong and you can correct me, but this is not good enough. It's not good enough to the people of Clown Mellon, South Tipperary, and it's not good enough to the Gaelic Corner, and it can't be allowed to carry on. Go to Marcus.